Where's the hot money? Where's the big money? Where's the smart money going in this contest at the moment? Good evening, Nigel. First of all, on behalf of bookmakers, and you don't have to disclose who you place your bet with, but a big thank you for your losing bet. They're always appreciated. <laughs> if it's any <laughs> consolation, you are not the only person to have got this leadership race wrong so far. And you've used the word a couple of times, confused. Well, the betting is as confused or as lively, if you want to use another word. Let's go back to the beginning. When Boris announced he was stepping down, the two early frontrunners, according to the betting, were Rishi Sunak and Liz Truss. Now, no surprise there, you might think. However, historically, that's not what you want to be. You don't want to be amongst the early favourites in this contest, um, aside from, from Boris Johnson last time around. And historically, that looked as if it was going to be the case once again, because last week, it was all about Penny Morden. She was winning polls, she was getting glowing mm. reviews, mm. and she was backed all the way in to odds-on favouritism. At that point, it was one of those the bookmakers were thinking, well, you know, we're, we're going to get stung here. We, we, we're going to be paying out on the Portsmouth MP. Over the weekend, just began to, to obviously slow down. Signs it all wasn't great in her camp. Over the weekend, Rishi Sunak regained favouritism. He's now odds-on favourite this afternoon, or this evening, I should say. 10 to 11 favourite, the former Chancellor. Liz Truss has re-emerged as his closest rival in the betting at 9-4, to four, and the Portsmouth MP Penny Morden out to 9-2. to two. Kemi Bade knocking there at 14-1. to one. So we're as confused as you are, Nigel. If there's one thing I can say, I think we probably all agree on, Rishi Sunak is going to be taking his place in that final two. He's 50-1 to one on, 1-50 one to 50 to do so. But who will he face? Well, the semi-final, to use a sporting comparison, looks between Miss, uh, Liz Truss at 4-7, to 7-4 seven, seven to on, and Penny Mordaunt, five to four, to make the final two. So uh, we heard from Darren earlier saying he's loving it as a, as a politics follower. Punters, political punters are loving it. But I'm going to make one safe prediction. It's a pretty short price. There are more twists and turns to come in this leadership race. Well, absolutely. And I remember in 2005 when David Davis and David Cameron were the last two and they, and they both went out and, and, and addressed party conference. And at that moment in time, bookmakers had stopped taking money on David Davis. So worry, worried were they about the amount to which they were going to get stung. Cameron gives one speech, the whole thing turns around and he wins. So, yeah, as you say, who's to know how this may turn? Another thought, final thought on all of this when it comes to betting. How big a market is political betting? It, I mean, it's a really big market for those that follow it. And that may sound a, a funny thing to say, but we always think that, that betting actually tells one of the most accurate predictions, particularly when it comes to big national votes, because people are asked something by a polling company. They might not quite tell the truth. They might play their cards close to the chest. If you're having a bet, like yourself, Nigel, you put your money on the Deems of Derby because you thought that was what was going to happen. So we always think that the betting mm. is a really accurate guide. But as I say, on this particular occasion, there'll be a lot of Penny Mordaunt backers out there hoping she can make the sort of impact again. She needs to do it again for her backers. As I say, she was odds on favourite. She's now 8-9-2. to nine to two. But you're absolutely right. David Davis was a red-hot favourite. He had his feet in number 10, okay. according to the betting. So, Rishi Sunak, you're not there just yet. <laughs> absolutely. It is. Political betting is wildly unpredictable. But you know what? I can just say this to you, David, as a bookmaker. I'm still doing OK as a result of Brexit and Trump. I'm just gently giving a little bit back to you boys. But I'm hoping it won't last too long.